goes again. The result the same. One bounce over the rope this time. 16 of the over. Sri Lanka get a move on. 38 to 1. Ajay Surya goes over the top. One bounce for four. Sanat Jaya Surya is not going to hang around when the ball is in the hitting zone. And that was exactly in the slot for him. And he's done all the hard work. And now it's time for Jaya Surya to start rewarding. And he's being rewarded with some uh, foul grade. Far more maturity and enthusiasm we could see in Jaya Surya. It took um, a little bit of time. There was a time when I got the feeling that uh, cricket was getting to be rather monotonous for him. And uh, he seems to be now back in uh, sort of his full flow. And again he goes over the top, just over the top. Down to the mid cricket boundary. Jaya Surya making his intentions very clear. Sri Lanka 50 up in the 15th over. With uh, Jaya Surya going after Jose. A wonderful shot by Jaya Surya, just plugged into that. You could say that uh, it can be a real thorn when he's, a, he's on full flow on so. This time, might be a cover. In fact, very well fielded on the boundary. He just. Uh, Let's kick the scoring down to a couple. I wonder whether the Dumpire would want to go with the Ethio Dumpire. It's as we're just looking for the boundaries. And uh, without it, I'm sure he does get a little frustrated. Brilliant feeling once again. Pulling it back just in the nick of time. Direction would have been a different ball game altogether, and he's come to home. He's still waiting for the decision. Rightly so, he's come to every home, Skipper. About it, but I think the bowlers are caught. Not we thought that they might, might have had his man. I could have easily chopped it the stumps uh, inside it. Not a convincing stroke, but hey, that's the four. There you go. Could have easily gone even into the hands of uh, Al Mashiru who is standing up. Lucky one uh, from Sanat Jaisa. Unlucky for uh, nothing. So. Let's look at the bowlers thing. I'm just be disappointed. Oh, you knew he was unlucky there. Yes, it's Ricky. Very well played out for the season camp and I. And hats off to him in history and in 56th uh, one day international as well. Great player. Uh, six.
this time. Again, the peak for the bowler, the experience work there, and Sri Lankan spinner to the skipper goals. And that was a nice comfortable catch, but again, the game is on. What a great move from uh, Mohamed Rafiq. Uh, picks up uh, the captain of uh, Sri Lanka, Mahila Jawad, and just about when I was uh, talking about his batting exploit in Australia. Quite sweet, straightforward catch. That is a big, big wicket uh, for the big head candidate. He goes back to the pavilion for five. It's uh, 87 for three. New batsman in, Kapu Gadeira. A young, experienced uh, a young player for Bangladesh on Sri Lankan side just lost the wicket of skipper the third wicket now Sri Lanka 87 for 3 oh, hey. just a single to complete the over so it's a 99 for 3 100 for 3 that's forced the attacking shot Dilshan is always a big wicket. Sahaja Surya will have to do a lot of work here to get Sri Lanka out of the hole at the end of the moment. 122 for 5. Alok Kapali has struck for the second time. He did better leg, but said to him Alok Kapali, and he's one of the best people in Bangladesh side. And he is excited that he has every reason to be. Dilshan has done the Dilshan goals for 3. Sri Lanka struggling. 122 for 5. 
Santo Fernando comes out with a huge responsibility on his shoulders. He will have to support Sanatja as they initially settle in. Sri Lanka need a very hard and a big hole at the moment. They need to climb out of this. So they need to get a complete big score. Alok Papali has been the man who struck twice for Bangladesh in the middle. Got with a true dangerous battle. This is the wicket. Good shot. Not letting it run straight to Alokapani and he will support the move. He knew he felt that with the balls. And with 32 years gone, Sri Lanka 122 to 5. One wicket going well for Bangladesh. Quicker delivery, short delivery, and that's going to go for the max. The first six of this innings. The first boundary from last 10 overs. So, this is a bad little short delivery and see if it perfectly the way it should be. Very, very short indeed from Kapali and Mahalo needed no second invitation. Absolute confident booster. In a short ball and smack it over six or a big for six. Oh, a delivery, but good running, excellent running. The return, a little bit wide. Maruf running too far quickly, and Jai Surya done a lot of work, but he's still able to run that uh, single quickly. But he's close if he hit that right edge. This is over the top of extra cover. That's a good shot by Jai Surya. And that's gone all the way. That's gone for four. That is an excellent shot, giving himself a little bit of room. And just a perfect shot over extra cover. That was the only gap to do a box turn and then get picked it up perfectly. He was a little bit of a not much, not much, just there, and, and there he goes. It's very still short of one over here. Well, he goes for the big one, and he's cleared the boundary. Took the chance with the first ball of Rafik's over. Lost the mid wicket, but he struck that well. Yes, he did take a chance as he would see there was a man down on the line there and uh, Jasu really was taking the challenge on and hit it right to a marginally goal but all the same he managed to get it over.
twist it all together. That's as plump as you can get, and what a wicket for Bangladesh at this stage. It really is a big, big wicket, and you could see that from the reaction of the crowd. They sense that they've really got the man they wanted. Just yes, they're probably getting a little too fiery and uh, getting a little too ambitious, looking for that hundred rather quickly. That snap really did get up too much. Bended knee, kicking around the tie, but all the same was going to hit the stand. What a fine innings this has been from Jack Surya. Four short of 600. Sri Lanka, 7 down, 168. किस्मत का साथ या फिर कला का जादू ESPN का अपना गोल्ड चार्ट देखिए गोल्ड में सिर्फ ESPN पर गोल्ड इज ब्रोट टू यू बाय मोकिया एंड Going beyond expectations. Well, there's a bus around this uh, Shahid uh, Chandu Stadium. Full house. They sense the home team has a good chance here as Raminda Bantara comes out the middle. Nine overs remaining. He's no muck with the bat. Bangladesh going for the kill. Mokhaza being introduced into the attack. Sense of anticipation around the ground now that uh, Surya has been dispersed. Having picking up a wrong leg wasn't all that short for the pull uh, to be attempted. Is what is required. Third umpire has been uh, called in here into play. It's going to be touch and ball. We've seen so many times in the past. A direct hit can make the difference. This is certainly something which we don't see through the naked eye. That might be close, but I think Bandara has made his ground. Bandara just, just getting in. Boundary here for the Sri Lankans. The Sri Lankans want to must as many runs as possible. Again, a little bit of a bounce, but just wide of the man, not carrying two. So Maling Bandar would take that. All these boundaries would add up to the total. Should be taken. Yes. Captain making no mistake. He had to run back. But he kept his eyes on the ball. And once again, it was Maru looking to clear the wicket, getting it high on the back. The last cap has been wicket drawing out his attention once again. He looked to go up in that direction once again, but uh, got far too much elevation, putting it well in the air, but a very good catch in the end by Habibul Bacha, running behind, but look at the balance, his mate in, and uh, finally getting under it, keeping his eyes on the ball, a bit of a thud, but in the end, holding on to a very good catch. Maru, fighting innings 21, Sri Lanka, 8 down for 187. Villara Fernando comes out to the middle. Three overs still to go. 
Warwick continuing, the batsman crossing over when that catch was being taken. shoulders, he'll have to manage the bottom at the tail, and that was uh, the reason Dilhara Fernando is here, Abu Rubash, the captain, thinking of a very, very good catch, and that of Maru.
a 49 over. So remember, this is a 49 over game. It's been a good effort by Bangladesh to restrict Sri Lanka to that slow, slow delivery. And the Fernando not quite getting hold of it. That shot was coming from Lilara Fernando. It was a slow delivery and well judged on that long boundary in the end by Mohamed Asafur. Lilara Fernando, 13 very valuable runs. Sri Lanka all out for 212. A well paced out inning despite not enough runs. So 49 overs, 212 the target for Bangladesh will be 213 when they come out of a break. Uh, not too long to go, 126 local time is when play will start. And this is uh, how the Sri Lankan innings went. It was sustained uh, thanks to uh, Jay Surya, very good innings of 96. He concentrated hard on a wicket that got slower and slower as the game progressed. Useful hand in the end uh, from uh, the lower, lower order. Maru 21, Mandara 18, and Fernando chipping in with 13. One cannot be all complimentary of the Bangladeshi bowling. They bowl to a plan. Every member of the attack uh, doing his part. And um, as you would see, everyone rewarded. But uh, one might imagine that uh, Russell really uh, set the pace. 2 for 28 in his 10 and all the others making contributions. I'm Javed Umar Belli, 29 years old, right arm batsman. Javed Omar back to the side, a target for Bangladesh here, 213. So Shaz, what should be the approach by Bangladesh batsman? Should they see off the new ball or should they go for the shots? What sort of opinion should the right class to make? I think it's not going to be that easy. This is a competitive score from Sri Lanka. But uh, I would imagine the last thing they want is to lose early wickets. If they lose early wickets, then that will allow Sri Lanka to... Uh, put the pressure on Bangladesh. I think the ideal way would be to uh, play normal cricket initially, at least for the first uh, five or six overs and then take it from there. They've given themselves a good chance to compete here, Bangladesh. Hi, I'm Shariya Nafis, 28 of age, looking back. Good combination, the left hand and right hand. And let's see what sort, of, what sort of approach they have in their mind. Park with his 213 to win. So that got scored 2 on 2 all out in 29 overs. Great effort by Bangladeshi bowlers. I mean, they did well. Got a big partnership going. And here we go. Uchera Pereira is the man. He's done bonus for four. Previous game he back the man of the match. They come hard to Sri Lankans. They realize that uh, they're not defending a big score. They can uh, pick up a couple of early wickets. And we handy Ruchira Pereira this morning having a chat with uh, the master. Well, what were you telling him guys that? I think he gave up to me to know how to go the route swing and basically the wrist action. So I was just explaining him that he has to come close to the wicket for an swinger or go wide of the crease, go wide of the crease for the outswinger and just telling him about his he's trying it a bit there but again it will take some time I told him to anything it will take some time but these three to four months and again I think he's a quick learner he wants to learn and he shows that he's confident he came up to me or whoever he goes to that's what I tried to explain to he said I have a trouble getting onto the danger area I said as well as you come in and you go more sideways and you automatically get it outside I'm sure Tom Moody would have learned a bit of left arm over the wicket bowling as well. In the air, pass it on. First boundary of the Bangladesh innings. This was nicely played between the mid wicket and the dot, which firmly. And a safe shot too. It was a fuller delivery. 
There we go, he's very, very strong there. And there is no chance of feeling at the door to stop him. That's a great shot for us. Close, but it's going to go all the way. It's a dream start for Bangladesh. Another boundary. And the good thing with that shot was uh, the no half measures. Dilshan got a hand to it, but Humphreys here has flashed, uh, flashed hard. It's a brilliant fielder, and that's a brilliant effort. Not good enough. position a, a run but if you pick up a wicket that's when it hurts more that's the second one even a bigger one this time around from the out of Fernando and uh, what a miss beautiful delivery super catch to his left uh, from Alex Sertara top yeah, I got my man but uh, just had to go back and see so I had his hand out those two low balls in the top now And again, at this time, 
for the pin slam. Charles Soria now running up to have a word with Ilhara Fernando. There's no doubt that uh, the Sri Lankans are feeling the pressure. Fernando has gold two, no ball. Not a big one. There he goes again. And after a while, while I talk, yes, you're out. Shari and Nafiza might find themselves a little bit unlucky. Looking good for 17 finals, they study for a while. Bye. Air check on our lifetime prepaid of Rowan Mobile, Zindagi Fire. In association with Onida, nothing but the truth. Hi, I am Aftab Ahmed, 21 years old, right hand batsman, right hand bowler. One of the very talented batsmen uh, to come into play now, Aftab Ahmed. This is straight to the field. Again, very, very average shot. Sri Lankan are back in the game from the brink of losing this game. They really, really worked hard. But two crucial wickets and the main batsman, Ashrafil, goes down. He knows the whole stadium is in drop silent. I really can't understand that shot. I really, really cannot. Except the fact that after Habibul Rashad playing that and getting out in the previous over, Mohammad Rashad said and he knows that he needed to be in the game till the end, trying to hit a big one and not timing it well and straight to the hands of Bandara. What a wicket for Bangladesh. And losing that one, what a wicket for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka back in the game, Bangladesh 155 for 5. Hello, Kapali, the new batsman. A lot of responsibility he is informed. He played well the other day. With the delivery nicely played, nicely played. That's going to go all the way. The fielder behind it, Kapali, is going to stop it. Yes, he did. We're going to come to the back of three. He's struggling a bit. It's really all happening. <laughs> It's funny, but it's very, very exciting. Cheeky shot uh, from Aftar Bamut. Really cheeky stuff on the stumps and making room and kind of cutting it fine out. The running was good, the first one was very good. The second one he just relaxed a bit, that's why he struggled for the third one. And that's the super shot. That is an absolutely stunning shot from Alok Bahani to finish the over with a beautiful boundary. Carved on his feet. 
Saudi Arabia that Bangladesh are on the ascendancy. That was just picked up and hit over the top. So beautifully timed. And just that just went for maximum. And he goes again this time. Doesn't get the outside edge. Just got to keep that cool. It's there. It's there. He's telling himself. That's a lovely strike. Just went through with it. Got the elevation. And got the distance as well. Just 13 required. This is turning out to be a terrific over for Bangladesh. Already 14 runs of it. They've started dancing in the aisles now. 51 to 141. This partnership. Both came together with Bangladesh in just a smaller border. Fernando continuing. It's in the air, straight to it off. Sri Lanka get the wicket. So this match still not over. Kapali unable to keep that one down. He's played well. And with just seven required, Bangladesh lose their sixth wicket. What an important wicket for Sri Lanka. Alok Kapali trying to drive on the up and just uh, putting it straight to the middle of the middle. Straight forward dismissal, soft one. But well, I think Ali Kapali had done his uh, hit. Bangladesh 2 and 6 for 6. Hi, I'm Club Nasir, Space Party, with the Kuala Lumpur Basri. So Bangladesh's most experienced player comes out to the middle. He's played over 100 matches. Just the right kind of player he won't in a situation like this. 7 to get. Through the offside, he's on fire. Oh, but he punches the air, very close. And finally, Dave Watford jumps out of that seat. It's time to score. Bangladesh cannot lose. What a shot uh, from Akhtar Ahmad. One would feel that he would finish it off in style. And take a look at that shot. Akhtar Ahmad ducks from the face of the back into the gap. And races over to the boundary like a bullet. Just look at him. Punches it in the air. He knows it. That he's achieved it. One ball to go in the over. He gets it through, yes! They've beaten Sri Lanka by four wickets. And that's the first time ever that Bangladesh has beaten Sri Lanka in a one-day international. Bangladesh makes history and makes history at Bogla Sahit Chandra Stadium. New venue, a new win. A good start for the season, Bangladesh. Could be playing a lot of games in the season. Mahila Jawad is not really happy having a jet, but it's all over. Bangladesh has beaten Sri Lanka by six wickets. And what a match has been. Once again, Afghan Ahmed in the middle for Bangladesh. He was there when they beat Australia, and he was there. He's still there when they beat Sri Lanka. Bangladesh still have a chance to get back to the top four. They have to win this match. Bangladesh have never been that quick. He was off in a flash to get that stump. He played his part though early on, batted well in getting 40. But Akhtar to me is a real hero. Under pressure, he's pulled it off for Bangladesh. Tom Moody, the Sri Lankans can only reflect at this stage. While as uh, the party has started here. In Bogra. Not only in Bogra, I would imagine I've had all over Bangladesh at the moment. Yeah, millions here, millions all over the world would be cherishing this moment. Historical moment. Both history was made when this video was selected as 
international venue for just matches in ODI and it's icing on the cake. I mean, what a way to repeat that. If they can repeat it again in the next game, that's not good. But I think they have played a good part. That's Jaiya Rumas. Then it's White, his brother in the back, full family around here. He, he made a good impact in the game as well. 30 odd runs, quick one, good partnership. Great way to win this game. Great stuff. Yes, they'll be very happy. One would only hope that they improve from here on and uh, get a little more consistent. Full marks to the home side. Deserve this win. They played two cricket today, right from the outset. They were on the toss and decided to field first. They ball in the right areas. They were backed up by good fielding. And then once they restricted Sri Lanka to 212, they came out and uh, made a real professional job in the chase. So, a tremendous performance here. This series is now level at one match each. The first match to Sri Lanka, the second one to Bangladesh. 212 the target, to reach there, making 230 into six. 51 uh, from Ashrafun played really well. Bellum played well at the top in making 40. But uh, it was up hard and he played a uh, very, very good innings under pressure. 32 of just 21 goals. Sri Lanka bowling, they tried hard, but uh, what they needed was uh, wickets at regular intervals. They kept uh, Bangladesh quiet in the first 15 overs. But after that, uh, once after the got thrown, and the run started coming a lot easier. Two wickets for Fernando, one for Bandara. He got the ball to spin with a run lucky to have picked up the ball and just the one wicket. And uh, one wicket for Asanta and Sanatea Surya. So a terrific performance by Bangladesh. We'll take a short break, but leave you with Bangladesh finishing things off here in Bangladesh.